Hey folks, it's the end of January, but the beekeeping season is fast approaching. In this video, I'm going to talk about how I set up swarm traps to catch swarms. Because as a beekeeper, I lose quite a few of my bees over the winter, and it's important for me to be able to increase my number of hives without buying bees, and so I set up swarm traps. So here is the lid, and then I have some styrofoam insulation in the, in the metal lid. And here is the hive top. Sometimes people call that an inner cover, and it's just made of plywood. And then here is some drawn comb that's been lived in by bees. You want it to be lived in because it needs to smell like a beehive in order for bees to find it. And you can either have drawn comb or empty frames, but you can't use undrawn foundation. Bees will not move into a hive if it only has undrawn foundation. So I like to have drawn comb in the top box and then empty frames in the bottom box. I made my entrance to be two inches square. In this case it is a half inch wide by four inches long. There's a paper that Tom Seeley at Cornell University wrote about some research that he did on attracting swarms and what kind of equipment or cavities swarms are attracted to. And I recommend you look that up. And that's how I came up with this design for this swarm trap. Now I use all mediums and therefore I made this to be a 12 frame medium hive because I don't like having equipment that doesn't match my regular hives. Now, you also need to make for sure that there aren't any gaps in the hive besides the entrance. Bees want a defensible nest cavity where the only area they have to defend is the entrance. They don't want any other gaps. And I've had problems with gaps between the two boxes where the bees won't move in because there's a gap there. Now, here is what it looks like when some scouts have discovered your swarm trap and they are checking it out. And you can see they're just kind of jittery, almost a nervous behavior, and they're just walking in and out of the hive entrance. This is how you can tell scouts from other bees, is they're just kind of always active and without seemingly a lot of purpose. Here is what it looks like when a hive or a swarm has moved in to use swarm trap. The bees have a definite purpose as they land, they just walk into the entrance. It's because they're busy. Now this was taken in the afternoon, so not very many bees are leaving um, because they're all coming home for the, for the day. But um, this is the kind of activity you would see if they've moved in. Now I also set up my empty hives to be the most attractive to a swarm that might be looking for a house in my home yard. This is a hive that I will set up for that. And one of the things that commercial hives that you buy, maybe they might have a screened bottom board. Like I said before, bees won't move into a hive that has, that has other openings besides the entrance. And so I use a piece of plywood to cover this screen bottom board so that the only gap in the hive is the entrance. And I also reduce the entrance in this hive. Normally these hives have a full entrance across the face of the hive and I reduce it to be just a few inches. Again, I'm using drawn comb here and there's some empty frames in here as well. So for my hives that are empty, I use three hive bodies because I use mediums. If you were running deeps, then you would maybe use two deeps. And that's the biggest I would make it. I have had swarms move into taller hives, and I'll show an example of that uh, at the end of this video. But the science is that they don't move into hive cavities that are too big. So in this case, I put the lid on this hive, and it's just a piece of plywood, and then I store other empty supers on top of the hive, so on top of this piece of plywood, because I don't like storing my hive's equipment in my garage or other places where it 
it'll take up space. So I just store the empty equipment on top of the hives. And then I use a concrete block to make for sure that the hive all stays together. Now here's a swarm that I saw coming and so I grabbed my camera and started recording and in this case they are moving into that yellow hive and you'll notice that that is five boxes high so that's bigger than I would typically think they would want to move into but bees break rules that we make for them all the time so no big deal. I was happy to have them pick my yard to move into. So this swarm took about 25 minutes to move into this hive. Hey, do you like these videos? Subscribe. I'll make more. Bye.